bit and now it's it's almost like a small maybe the center of Vanta like Tikkurila is one and then Murmaki is, is the other one ah, but okay, they're yeah. Murmaki is in the west and the west west side people rarely come here and the east side people rarely go there <laughs> All right, welcome to another episode of Walk and Talk Helsinki. I'm here at Fly AR Studios in Tikkurila with Franz. Tiverainen. All yeah. right. So this is Fly AR Studio, the headquarters. Yeah, this is where all the reality gets augmented. <laughs> and where are we going? Uh, let's go for a walk around around Tikkurila. So Franz. How long have you been in Tikkurila? I've been in Tikkurila. I've lived here since 2009, but I practically went to school around Tikkurila area, and like this is my my home home hood. This movie theater has been here like always. Uh, it's a family business, maybe like 70, 80 years. And yeah, I remember going there as a very small kid. When you meet someone new and they ask, what do you do? How do you respond? Uh, I say I run a creative digital studio and we work in AR. And then, then I pull out some AR example and show them that this is one type of thing we do. Oh, and now we are by uh, Silkitehdas, the old silk factory. Okay. Uh, this like red brick complex is um, like one of the starting points of, of Tikkurila. This is like a um, protected building so they can be torn down. Oh, and here, this used to be an uh, elevator. Uh, now it's like bricked shut. Like this whole building went into massive renovations and everyone got kicked out. Yeah, there was like a big last house library thing. It was like a kind of legendary skateboarding spot. Also, there's some some clips from the early 2000s. Here in this little hill, there was whoa. some. Oh, watch out! That's slippery. I love how you fans are just not bothered by like slipping. is just like normal. When yeah, you yeah, it is. You don't even break your sentence. <laughs> I yeah. love that. Yeah, it's like pretty standard too. <laughs> like, I've seen people, they're just talking and walking, whoop, <laughs> and then they just continue talking. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it happens. But yes, yeah, in, in this hill there was some, uh, I think it was some little building that had to do with water purification. Okay. And yeah, now it's covered up, but that's uh, Heureka, the science center. Oh yeah, I know Heureka. Yeah, oh, you can go is. to Heureka with the museum card nowadays. So okay. if you have the Museo Corte, you can go there for, for practically for free. Oh, and this is some old, like, I think it's an artist residency, this yellow, yellow house. Huh. And this red house is Vein in Müll. They used to have a cafe there. I'm not sure what they used to have, like, way back, but... Um, now it's been closed for a long time. It would be awesome to make like a skateboarding art cafe here. <laughs> yeah, this playground is awesome. They have a small like river simulator thing where you can pump water and it follows the shape of this river and it has like little blocks that are Heureka and the Silk Factory over here. And then kids can build little dams and like play with little boats in the small river simulator. Oh, maybe we can go under the bridge. There's yes. a secret spot. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> go to the other side. Oh, oh. Okay, I can tell you're a daredevil skateboarder. It could be doable, but I'm a bit scared of these the like wet, wet looks... rocks because you have to like commit and fully jump on it. Yeah. Yeah, it might end up wet and cold. 
So this is your secret spot. Yeah. Ah. Yes, walk and talk in Dick Gorilla. This is a nice little tree. I did not expect all this. Yeah. All I've seen of Dick Gorilla is that main road. <laughs> yeah, and the, maybe the railway station. Yes. Yeah, this place has changed over the years quite a bit. Quite a bit. And now it's it's almost like a small, maybe the center of Vanta. Like Dick it Gorilla is, is one and then Murmaki is, is the other one. Ah, but okay, there, yeah. Murmaki is in the west. And the west west side people rarely come here and the east side people rarely go there. <laughs> it's kind of like two two different cities in one. How would you describe being an entrepreneur in Finland? Because Finland startup community is quite known to be receptive towards startups and entrepreneurs. Do you mm. agree with that? How, what's your experience? Uh, yeah, it has its ups and downs. I've been an entrepreneur for almost 10 years. Now it is fire augmented reality studio. We've had it for a bit over five years. And have you ever had a job? Have you ever been an employee? Uh, not like a real job. Like I had some um, not so specialized jobs okay. as a student, but after I graduated to be an engineer, I haven't been uh, employed in a real real job okay but you do have some experience to compare being an entrepreneur yeah. to so yeah you were gonna continue. yeah I, I just I just love this because there's um, no one's telling me what to do and you have to be here at Monday morning at 8 a.m. like that's not like once once I've tasted this this freedom I I don't want to go back to being <laughs> someone's employee well it, it depends I'll never say never but yeah I like it like this now we've started trying the four-day work week and that's just awesome like now next week's Tuesday is Independence Day so we're taking Friday off this week Monday off next week so now we it's have like a, a whole week off yeah and my kids are going to their mom so it's it's like a real five-day vacation for me I can do nothing go skateboarding I was going to ask, what are you going to do? Five days with no kids and no work? Yeah, skateboarding, of course.